Okay, so we have our orthos, and the next step is we want to actually generate an XML file that's going to allow us to load it into the Mosaic tool. So if I load up my Geomatica toolbar, you'll see that we have this Mosaic tool. And what it's looking for in order to allow multiple people to work on the same Mosaic is an XML file. You won't be able to get this XML file from OrthoEngine, but you can generate it using an algorithm which is called MOS Prep or Mosaic Preparation. So, how does this MOS Prep algorithm work? Pretty simple. I can pull up the uh, easy command prompt here just to pull up the help. So I can go help MOS Prep. You can definitely execute the command. The you can execute MOS Prep from easy. I find it. Uh, it's a little bit more uh, straightforward to do it from Python because you can uh, simply execute one little script and everything will run. Now, when I pull up MOS Prep, you can see that I can switch between Easy and Python environments. It provides all of the documentation on the different parameters. And the nice thing about all of our algorithms documentation is you have a little code snippet at the bottom. So then what I could do is I can paste the code in here. So this is essentially just pasted in. So if I save it now, as a py file in my, I made myself a little Python scripts here. Moss, I'll just call it moss prep dot py. If I give it dot py extension, you'll see that Notepad plus plus will start recognizing different parts of it. So this is essentially uh, pretty simple to edit. So I have to provide the location of my ortho images. Now I, I did share this drive. So one thing that's important is that you share the drive that you're working with. This is a local drive on my computer. So someone else in my office could actually pull up that file that I generate, the mosaic preparation file, and uh, they could work away on the, uh, on the mosaic. So it's important that they have read and write access to it and that they can see it across the network. So my ortho images are located in this folder. So I could just copy that path paste it in here. This is the location where I want to create the Mosaic Preparation XML file. So I'll just paste that path and I'll specify that I want it to go into the Mosaic folder. I did create a Mosaic folder here. So this is where I want my XML file to be created. Now it's also going to store the um, Mosaic preview. Most of these can be left at default, uh, adaptive, bundle. This The bundle method is very important in terms of using the uh, color balancing method that's going to create the dodging points, the edge dodging and the floating dodging points. The other thing we can do is we can actually mask off areas. So as I mentioned uh, in the intro, this location has water and buildings. So we can provide information to the system to avoid using those uh, features for a couple of things. We can uh, we can eliminate the water from being used for the color balancing calculation and we can use the building footprints to force the cut lines to avoid buildings. So what I'll do is I'll go in my mask location and I did create myself a file. I'll just load it up here really quick so you can see. So this is freely available data from the city of Hamilton. Uh, a lot of locations more and more now have open data. So uh, these are, this is the location roughly of my mosaic. So I'll just load up the orthos here and uh, zoom into my location. And you can see that I've got a really nice alignment already in terms of my orthos with the coastline and also with the building footprints. So essentially the cut line uh, algorithm will try to avoid hitting any of these buildings. And it's also in terms of the color balancing it's going to avoid using the lake for these statistics. So I'll close that out. So that's my mask, which I will use. So let me just go to that location. Little tip, you can right click and go copy as path in uh, Windows. So there's my path. Just make sure you don't put the double quotes there. Just need single quotes. This is the channel where the actual mask is located. It is in, in uh, channel two. And then you could just save that. So let's open up a command prompt. Go to our D drive. And I created a folder called Python scripts. I'll just take a look here. So there's my MOS prep RC1, which is the one I just created. So I'll just type Python and then moss prep 
underscore rc one dot py and let's keep an eye on the mosaic folder because what's going to happen is it will create everything it needs here to create the uh, mosaic preparation. So now I have my XML file. So the next part of the video is going to be interactively editing the, uh, the mosaic preview.